aplicativo tem internet sem precisar de computador, baixa games incríveis e acessa sites que ajudam na escola. Tudo isso por 299 reais. Vivo, onde tudo acontece. Okay, for our start today's Zebo and Infuse emulator setup guide for Windows PC. If you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a new guide. Plus, it really helps out my channel too. So, we're looking at Infuse emulator today. Now, this is available for various different platforms, but we're looking at this on PC, say Windows PC, that is. And this is going to give us the ability to play perhaps one of the best double dragon games around and it's also going to support crash bandicoot nitro kart 2 so let's get into this what we're going to do is just pop over to the website and i'll leave the link in my description and we're going to download this for windows times 8664 now like i say this is available for multiple platforms we got mac os here we got linux we've got steam deck so what we're going to do is just download this for windows for now once you've downloaded this you're going to get a zip folder if we just open up the zip folder what i'm going to do is create a new folder on my desktop so just right click new folder and i'm going to call this folder infuse what i'm going to do is just extract those contents inside of that folder okay so once that's done if we go inside infuse we're going to open up infuse.exe windows protected your pc more info run anyway now you're going to find nothing's found even if you've got games and you put them into this infuse folder nothing's going to show so the way around this is go to your windows explorer and you need to go to this address which i've just put in if i press enter we can find just here a brew folder and we got a myth and we got a mod folder here now your games are going to look very similar if not the same what i'm going to do is just drag and drop the double dragon inside of that folder and i'm also going to do the same for the crash bandicoot game so just drag and drop into that folder okay so what we need to do next then is actually connect to xbox controller or a playstation controller xbox controller works perfectly fine for me if we go back into the infuse folder and open up infuse.exe again here we go so i've got my xbox controller connected and here's double dragon here is crash bandicoot now if i press up on my d-pad that's going to take us to the top as we can see i can go over to the settings cog if i go in there by pressing a we can actually go down one to full screen render mode if i press right on my d-pad that's going to then enable full screen. We got various different options just here, such as force by linear filter and textures. If I enable this, it's not going to be so pixelated when we're playing our games. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just press B to come out. And let's check out Double Dragon.
And the coup, not the greatest version of that, but by far Double Dragon is one of the best you'll get out there. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. Also join me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro. Yeah.